just about the end of the summer here, 1998. There was something in the air for everyone to anticipate. Well, baseball had some real tough years. The sport was not the same. But who could turn the ship around and put the heart back in the game? Well, he's the king of swing. Watch him swing that thing While the fans just rock and roll Mr. Mark McGuire's got the ball on fire And St. Louis in his soul Swing that thing, Mr. McGuire Well, the great who set the records Must have been with him that night Cause he's the king of swing Watch him swing that thing While the stands just scream and swoon Mr. Mark McGuire's got the ball on fire And the fans howling at the moon Well, St. Louis hasn't been this high since Lindbergh saw the Atlantic sky with crowds 50,000 strong not to mention all the folks at home cheering along sending ripples of chills across the land to be part of our history with pride and respect he returned to his fans as he slugged number 70 cause he's the king of swing watch him swing that as the fans just rock and roll Mr. Mark McGuire's got the ball on fire And St. Louis in his soul He's the king of swing King of swing King of swing
summer and right through the fall I lived for the crack of the bat on the ball Me and my wife had a seasoned box We caught every homestand from the birds to the socks Then I took a little scouting trip out on my own Some fresh arms took down my happy home Now I can't stand it when I hear them shout Three strikes and you're out I was having too much fun I shouldn't have swung strike one She called me watching the pitch Enjoying the view strike two Well then the third strike came At an out of town gate I don't know how she found out Though I pleaded my case I did make first base Three strikes and you're out I said it weren't nothing but a seventh inning stretch But she caught me scratching on a seven year itch She sent me on down with the Mudville rats And from now on I gotta check my own stats I swore up and down it'd be the last time She said lying must be the new national pastime We started out close, ended in a rout Three strikes and you're out I was having too much fun I shouldn't have swung strike one She called me watching the pitch Enjoying the view strike two Well now the third strike came At an out of town game I don't know how she found out Well I pleaded my case I did make first base Three strikes and you're out I'll be watching the pitch, enjoying the view, strike two. Now the final strike came in an out-of-town game. I don't know how she found out. Though I pleaded my case, I didn't make first base. Three strikes and you're out. While well, I'm off of the field, I lost my appeal. Three strikes and you're out. Well, they're engraving my name in the hall of shame. Three strikes and you're out! Come on, boys, let's break some hearts. Oh, the bases were empty all the time and up my heart when the coach called me up to the plate. I'd been swinging and missing and loving and kissing. My average was 128. So I spit on my hands, knocked the dirt from my spots, and pointed right towards center field. This time I'm hitting a home run. This time my love is for real. I'll slide, I'll steal, I'll sacrifice. Love that is true I used to play the fear 
stuff they say Our ball club may be minor league But at least it's triple A yeah. We sit below the marble man Above the right field wall We do the wave all by ourselves Hey, um, you must be blind to make that call We like our beer flat as can be We like our dogs and mustard and relish We got a great picture, what's his name? Hell, we can't even spell it We don't worry about the penny much We just like to see the boys hit it deep There's nothing like the view from the chasing Boys again, that local band back in town They got a kind of minor league sound They're not that bad, they're not that good But all in all it's understood We want to dance, they want to play We wouldn't have it any other way We like our beer flat as candy We like our dog mustard and red We got a great his name, hell, we can't even spell it. We don't worry about the pen as much. We just like to see the boys in it deep. There's nothing like the view from a cheap
You were great, Maddie. There's not a soul who would deny that you were great. When our luck was down to nothing and our backs were to the wall, you would fire up the will to win and galvanize us all. Bring on Baker, bring on Wagner, bring on Crawford, bring them all. Just give Matthews in the ball and he'll come through. And it was true, Matty. When we were down to do or die, we'd look to you. You would stand up tall and confident with calm and steady nerve. You would summon up that extra you'd been keeping in reserve. Then you'd fool them with a fadeaway and fan them with a curve. You deserve the trust and faith we placed in you. And your name will echo down the hallowed halls of fame. And men will tell of how you played the game. Cause win or lose, Maddie, you stayed a champion just the same. And they'll recall how Maddie was the mightiest of them all. As long as young men play with bat and ball, they'll tell of you, Maddie. They'll remember. Yes, you were rare, Maddie. And when a miracle was needed, you were there. When Chicago filled the bases and the crowd began to roar, and the final game was on the line and we couldn't let them score. And when someone had to stand up straight and get that ball across the plate, I'd swear, Maddie. I'd swear that God Himself had sent His right hand man. To see us through, and it was you, Maddie. It was you. Supposed to hear. Got a little older and I hung out at the stadium. I heard a lot of stories. They weren't about baseball. My mama sang praises. Daddy stole bases, singing no. Nobody plays like me. Sitting on a riverbank, practicing my banjo, singing about the old times, living in the new. Wonder if the river runs down to where I dreamed of. Wonder if I'll always dream of you. Well, there's some place. And there's some played smarter But there's none of them played just like you And my daddy worked the ferry boat over to the island My mama sang hymns, she made good tea And daddy come home with his hands in his pockets And the sweet smell of gasoline I got a little older and I hung out at the island I wore white shoes for the Saturday dance Take her on a ferry ride just to see her smile again I kiss her if I ever got the chance Sitting on a riverboat practicing my banjo Sing about the old times living in the new Wonder if the river runs down to where I come from Wonder if I'll always dream of you well, there's some played harder, and there's some played smarter, but there's none of them played just like you. Saskatchewan, my mama had a radio, my 
sweet smell of gasoline My father was a keeper of the Eddystone light And my mama was a mermaid on the wine dark sea Daddy played the horses and they brought me home the banjo Now there's nobody plays like me Sitting in a coffee house practicing my banjo Singing about the old times living in the new Wonder if the coffee house runs to where I dreamed of Wonder if I'll always dream of you The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood 4-2 to two with but one inning left to play. And then when Cooney died at first and Barrows did the same, a sickly silence fell upon the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go in deep despair. The rest clung to that hope which springs eternal in the human breast. They thought, if only Casey could but get a whack at that, They'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey, as did also Jimmy Blake, and the former was a Lulu, and the latter was a cake. So upon this stricken multitude, grim melancholy sat, for there seemed but little chance of Casey's getting to the bat. But Flynn let drive a single, to the wonderment of all, and Blake, the much despised, he tore the cover off the ball. And when the dust had lifted and they saw what had occurred, there was Jimmy safe at second and Flynn a hug in third. Then from 5,000 throats and more, there rose a lusty yell. 
It rumbled in the valley, it rattled in the dell, it knocked upon the mountain and recoiled upon the flat, for Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing and a smile on Casey's face. And when, responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat, no stranger in the crowd could doubt was Casey at the bat. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded when he wiped them on his shirt. Then while the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance gleamed in Casey's eye, a sneer curled Casey's lip. And now the leather-covered sphere came hurtling through the air, but Casey stood a-watching it in haughty grandeur there. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches black with people there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire, shouted someone on the stand, and it's likely they'd have killed him had not Casey raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's visage shone, he stilled the rising tumult. He bade the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher, and once more the spheroid flew. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, Strike two! Fraud, cried the maddened thousands, and Echo answered, Fraud! But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face grow stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain and they knew that Casey wouldn't let that ball go by again. The sneer is gone from Casey's lip. His teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel violence, his bat upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball, and now he lets it go, and now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and... Somewhere hearts are light, somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But there is no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck out. His uniform was baggy, and he had gigantic feet. His hat was always cockeyed, and he had but a few teeth. And his nose as big as Baltimore, and a heart as big as Devon. Max Patton made the children laugh, and for that he's gone to heaven. Max Patton was vaudeville, last of the old time clowns. Funniest looking fella that ever went from town to town With the kind of face that he himself said Only a mother could love With his loosey goosey limbs And his floppy leather glove Max Patton worked three innings And they let him coach first base He called a meeting with a batter And then kiss him on the face and then he'd do his chicken walk And then this guy's are bit Where he'd take a sip of soda Tilt his head back and spit Max would leave him howling, then he slumped upon the stool With his back against the locker, filling the whirlpool Dirtied up and sweaty, down to his stocking feet he Gave the clubhouse boy five dollars To scrape the mud off of his cleats The 
Crown Prince of Baseball he did 5,000 gigs In 50 years he shared the bill With circus dogs and talking pigs By the ninth inning He'd be back in his motel With an early morning wake-up call The next night he'd be someplace else The tiles in every motel room They all smell like chlorine From the rookie leagues to AAA And all points in between And all those hot shot prospects That ever were big league bound They saw them on the way up Some on the way back down And oh, to be a clown these days You've got to have thick skin Flask in your back pocket Or a bottle of aspirin Drunk sometimes will get ya For the team that didn't I win well, It's tough to be a clown these days You got to have thick skin Max Patton loved the children The children, they loved him His body would fall apart sometimes But he'd patch it up for them And he never, ever, not even one time Sold an autograph Funny man, Max Patton He made people laugh But the times changed on Max Patton Along came rock and roll They blare it from the speakers now If ever there's a low Some guy in a chicken suit The circle and the bases With a corporate logo on his back And in one or two other places So if there's the St. Peter And they're sitting at the gate Well they probably saw Max play some time Wipe clean Max's slate That corny old routine Dated back to 1947 Max Patton made the children laugh And for that he's gone to heaven Max Patton made the children laugh And for that he's gone to heaven Max Patton made the children laugh And for that he's gone to heaven My new car by the side of the field Thanking God I was alone Then as if I was in a long lost dream I stood there at first base and gave a hard look Thought I heard voices, so I looked all around Nothing but memories on the breeze I thought of that young kid with the big league dreams Dirty old sneakers and the skinned up knees One more time Give me one more time Back when I was 12 years old Long before the world could break our hearts The outfield is new mode Not a cloud in the sky A vision of bright greens, dirt and blue 
It's Saturday morning all over again Nothing had changed but the kid in my shoes One more time, give me one more time I'm back when I was 12 years old Long before the world could break our hearts In the real world And the days fly by Computers and business on the phone I sit by my window In a long lost dream Standing at first base I give a hard look to home One more time Give me one more time Back when I was 12 years old Long before the world could break our hearts One more time Give me one more time Back when I was 12 years old Long before the world could break our hearts Gotham Blazer, Bobby Coover, and what a great year the veteran fireballer is having. 16 wins against only 5 losses, and leading the league in strikeouts. And Boston is led by their rookie phenom, Damon Young. 25 homers, 92 RBIs, 
this 21-year-old kid has captured the imagination of the entire baseball world. Youth against experience, strength against strength. This is what it's all about. So sit back and enjoy yourselves, sports fans, because this promises to be a great one. Young stands in against Coover. The cocky rookie is crowding the plate. The crowd is really into it now. Coover gets his sign and goes into his windup. He wheels. He deals. Young goes down. A fastball caught him in the head. Oh, this is terrible. Young's career is over. He'll spend the rest of his day sitting in some dingy dive, reliving this one moment, never able to truly understand its profound implications. It'll take Coover another couple of years, but he's washed up too. The once fearsome fastball is a thing of the past. Every time he rears back to throw it, he'll see Young's face. He's lost his edge, man. He's through with this league. Is this baseball or is this Greek tragedy? was a child of the South Learn to stand your ground and shut your mouth You bear your crosses every day Your fingers caked in Georgia clay Another child southern grown Learn, stand your ground, defend your own You grow up learning wrong from right You grow up learning black from white The world's apart, the season turns Deep inside the fire burns Who knows the place who knows the time When you are moved to cross that line Both bound by a boyhood sport Jack played at second, Pee Wee short that day they met on Brooklyn's field Their histories never seem so real One saw the other take the throws He saw the spikes, he saw the blows He knew the promise that was made he knew the price the other paid the Worlds apart, the season turns Deep inside that fire burns Who knows the place, who knows the time When you are moved to cross that line That Cincinnati sun He heard the taunts He heard the jeers He felt the burden Of the years 
And he called for time And then he walked from short to first Stood and faced the man who'd faced the worst Then these two children of the South Arm in arm stood their ground and shut the mouths Worlds apart the seeds and turns Deep inside that fire burns Who knows the place, who knows the time When you are moved to cross that line And worlds apart the season turns Deep inside that fire burns Who knows the place, who knows the time When you are moved to cross that line city wasn't windy on Adams Street that day L trains wailed on Wabash about a block away Adams Sporting Goods blinked the neon sign when Eddie was a salesman in Chicago 49 I need a catcher's uniform this man ran in and said I gotta shoot a picture Then he looked close at Ed Like to make some extra bucks When you get off tonight To a guy with a wife and a four-year-old This deal seemed really right Eddie searched the storeroom And when he came back from the rear Said I couldn't find a uniform Just some kid-sized catcher's gear A glove, a mask, some shin guards, and a chest protector, too. Well, here's my card, be there at eight. I guess this stuff will do. When Ed got to the studio on Madison near Clark, the man said, kneel down, look up, like a ball just left Cubs Park. Got his shot, gave Ed some cash, Ed thought this was the end. But you won't know when a picture might come to life again. Season passed, Cubs came in last, tar bubbled in the street. On the far west side, Ed's neighbors tried to bear the August heat. Hey Ed, look at this ad in life. This guy looks just like you. Yeah, look right here, you're selling Ham's beer. Now how can this be true? A full page ad in color And the headline Eddie read Here's how Stan Musial polls extra bass hits And in the corner, Ed Stan the man just followed through Like the sphere just cleared the wall And Ed's crouched down in catcher's gear His eyes upon the ball Two co-eds graced the cover, decked out and looking fine. But to me, the real story is on page 69. Two heroes of my childhood, one in children's sports attire, captured for eternity while that ball still soaring higher. Stand the man swings for the stands, the catcher's head held high. Just like his boy whenever he 
thinks about the guy who had his picture taken to support his son and wife. Full river there with Musial, my father big as life. Forever there with Stan the man, my father big as life. Shadows fall on Comiskey. The crowds have disappeared. No crack of the bat is heard. No smack of ball on glove. A strange calm fills the air. Something stirs upon the field. Slowly, a form comes out of the night. A baseball player of a time gone by. He takes his place in the left field spot, a place where in life he had no peer, he crouches and waits, with hands on his knees, for the inevitable flight of the horsehide sphere. A crack is heard, a ball on bat, the fielder races to the outfield wall, and just as the ball, it seems, would clear, an outstretched hand and glove appear, and another would-be Homer dies in the glove of Shoeless Joe. Does I think about it when I'm all alone When I'm walking around home and it's late at night And I don't feel right and I just can't sleep 
And I can't keep the dark from pouring out It was a gray afternoon at the polo grounds Merka should have took the second base Tie game two at the bottom of the nine Merka should have took the second base Cubs in the field and the Giants at the plate. Merkel should have took second base. The Giant on third and Merkel on first. Merkel should have took second base. Gotta go the whole way, make it a sure thing.
trying to win 30 games Now his only plaque is in the Hall of Shame This is the ballad of Denny McClain Denny McClain Denny McClain Denny McClain He was a young kid with a great right arm He never dreamed he would come to harm But then he fell into some bad company Now he's up the river Pumping 23 Danny McClain Danny McClain Danny Tell me